I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about migrating records uh, in small systems as opposed to big database systems. And one of the examples I want to use is how to migrate data from Excel or CSV into a Microsoft Access database using Python. And one of the reasons I want to do this is because uh, when you install Pandas, which is a very nice library, has all kinds of cool things like data frames and that, it has a very nice uh, method that allows you to uh, very easily uh, insert, bulk insert many, many records into big databases like Microsoft uh, SQL Server or Oracle or or whatever, but it doesn't have it natively built in to insert into Microsoft Access. And that's what we want to do today. And we're going to do it by using uh, a new dialect uh, that we're going to install and then use from SQL Alchemy, which is part of this sort of Pandas installation. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so today we're going to use an XLSX file that uh, I retrieved on August 4th and used for another video. Uh, today we're not going to analyze this data. We're just going to use it uh, for the import process just to uh, just so that we can um, have a, a large enough data set uh, to make this worthwhile. As you can see there are thousands of records in this uh, worksheet here and if I go all the way to the end it looks like there's about 35,000 and uh, this is going to make a a good data set for our import and I'll just close and save this I must have adjusted a column size or something there so that's our uh, our COVID spreadsheet that we're going to import and here's a a blank table that we're going to use for our second example um, we're going to look at how to uh, export that data or migrate that data into a new table and we're also going to look at how to uh, put the data into an existing table. So you can see that I have all of this uh, data here and actually uh, I think the, the column name was 2019 for the population data. So I'll change that and, uh, and then I'll close our access database and get ready to go here. So if you remember uh, from my previous videos uh, we installed the pandas library and some other stuff and uh, pandas is great but today we're going to need to get our SQL Alchemy access library because the to underscore SQL method in pandas uh, does not support access uh, right out of the box. You've got to get the dialect for Microsoft Access and so that's what we've done here. And then uh, once that's uh, completed uh, we're also going to need to get the, the library that allows us to read the Excel sheet um, and uh, we can get that one by uh, getting the XLRD using our pip to install that and that's going to get our, our Excel um, get, get us going with Excel. Then I'll go ahead and start my idle shell and I'll create a new file uh, in our default kind of default installation of uh, Python uh, which we added our pandas to uh, in previous uh, episodes. From there we can go ahead and import our pandas uh, into, into our little project here and we'll also, we're going to get the URL uh, lib library. Um, that's going to help us to get our uh, engine going from SQL Alchemy and uh, so we'll do an import statement for the engine as well and we'll give a little feedback to the user here so we'll just so we can see our progress as the uh, program executes. So we'll say uh, print open Excel and then we'll set our Excel XLSX path to uh, our directory or our uh, path where we've got our COVID-19 uh, XLSX file. And then once we're there, we can go ahead and make a data frame. And uh, we're going to uh, um, set our data frame so that we can read uh, Excel um, and then we'll pass in our XLSX path and uh, that's gonna 
uh, read that file out of the directory and then once we've got that into a data frame in, in pandas there we can uh, just check it and we'll say uh, that print the, the uh, head 10 rows um, as our program runs just so that we know that we're getting something and then from there uh, we can give a little bit more feedback and say that we're actually going to uh, um, go ahead and open Microsoft Access as well and uh, so we'll give a little bit of feedback that we're we're starting that uh, process and then the next thing we need is a connection string um, so we'll we'll go ahead and I'm gonna paste in a connection string uh, from our previous project since we already used this access database now many of the examples uh, of creating an engine use a DSN uh, but I'm a proponent of not using a DSN uh, for uh, my connections, my ODBC connections. I prefer to uh, use the connection string just because um, it has, uh, it sort of re releases your project from having a dependency on other files and resources and things. Um, so in order to uh, continue here, uh, we need to make our URL. Uh, connection uh, that'll be passed into the uh, uh, for the engine and you can sort of follow the same pattern uh, as I'm using here to create your URL it'll pretty much be the same every time just make sure that you uh, put your connection string variable in in there uh, and it will create your UR your URL for you and then we can go ahead and uh, create our our engine. Um, so we'll say uh, ACC underscore engine uh, e equals uh, create engine then we'll pass in our URL to that so that uh, uh, we will have something to uh, connect with. And then we can give a little bit more feedback. We can say uh, um, <clears throat> writing to MS Access uh, in using a print command and uh, and that's going to give some feedback so we know that we've gotten that far uh, in the procedure and uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, 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 tell our data frame we can use the two underscore SQL uh, uh, method and that's gonna uh, allow us to write to a table and so we'll we'll write to a table and the first argument is going to be uh, COVID underscore import because that's what we're going to name our new table and uh, uh, then we can say uh, our access engine is the second uh, argument there and uh, with no other arguments passed into it that's just going to create a new a new table called COVID underscore import and uh, I'll go up here and I'll actually say uh, a new table in here so that we know what we're, what we're doing in our example here. And then I can give our final feedback, uh, which will be uh, write complete, uh, so that we know our procedure is done. And, uh, and then that, that way we'll know we're done and we can go ahead and check our data in the database to see if we got what we, what we wanted out of there. And I'll just uh, do a quick pass over the code here, make sure I didn't make any mistakes. I'll uh, change those to single quotes since that will be more along the lines of what we've got in the rest of the uh, of the procedure. And it also oh, it looks like I missed uh, uh, an equal sign in my uh, connection URL there. So I'm going to go ahead and go up there and, and put that in. And now that that's in there, I'll take a final look. I think we're all good to go here. So we can go ahead and uh, click F5 on our keyboard and see what we get in our output. Um, and as we can see, there's our Python script starting. We're opening Excel and it is reading the, uh, I think, 35,000 lines into Excel. And uh, there we can see that we've got our uh, table information. Uh, and it has started writing to access and uh, now this took a lot longer than it seems here I actually sped this up 
for the sake of time, but we can see that the write is complete and we can go ahead and open our access database and take a look at what we've got in here. So there's our uh, COVID import table and you can see that uh, the uh, SQL Alchemy automatically created an index field uh, that it popped uh, some integers into uh, so that you've got kind of a key and uh, it's got the all the data from the other um, from the Excel sheet uh, 30, 34,104 rows and uh, they've all been put into access in a new table which is exactly what we wanted okay so what if we wanted to put it into an existing table um, so I've got a table here that I created um, with uh, an index on it uh, with the same index name field there and uh, let's go ahead and change our example uh, to um, to write to an existing table and I'll show you how to do that now. So I changed my uh, up, my feedback to say existing so we know that that's what's happening as it's running and we're gonna use the same name as the table that's there, the COVID table and uh, uh, we'll use the argument uh, if underscore exists and we'll say append and that's going to append our records onto that table uh, instead of um, creating a new table and so what we can do from there is we'll save that and hit uh, F5 and that's going to kick off our procedure and as you can see we've got the same uh, thing happening it's opening Excel and uh, that's taking some time to import those records and once those are in we can examine our header again we can see that we've got the same same records in our header and it has started writing to access into an existing table just as we wanted it to and that'll take some time and as I mentioned before I sped this up for expediency but you can see that the write is complete and then we can go and look at our database and see what we got and uh, as you can see here uh, the COVID table uh, has been populated just as it was for a new table and so there we have it that's our COVID uh, table that was uh, received the appended records and uh, we can go ahead and close that and we can see that the uh, data is the same as the table that was created in the first example that we had today. And that is how you can migrate data from Excel to Access using Pandas and SQL Alchemy. Well, I hope you enjoyed our discussion today on how to uh, bulk insert uh, rows into Microsoft Access from Microsoft Excel and CSV and things like that. And if you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And make sure to click the bell when you see the bell uh, so that you'll be notified of any new content that I put up on the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please make sure to leave those in the comment section below. And if you need help uh, with any, if you're trying to do this exercise and you run into a problem, just uh, leave your comment in the section below. And uh, have a safe day, have a great day, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.